Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and sorry for the frizzled hair. I just woke up and, uh, you know, it's, no one's feeling very well today in the house, so we're just not gonna go anywhere, I suppose. We're just gonna relax. But it's time to talk about DoorDash. Yay! It's been a while since I talked about DoorDash. Um, since I've been griping about Uber so much these days, uh, nice to kind of get off topic. And what inspired this video is, um, a conversation I had with an Uber passenger yesterday and a comment that was left this morning. So I figured, okay, well, that's a good double whammy. This must be fate. So I was picking up an Uber passenger yesterday. Hi, Rhonda, in case you happen to be watching this. And she was a door dasher, or a dasher, yeah. Uh, and, you know, we talked about the business, you know, gave a little advice. She, I think, subscribed to this channel, and her daughter does it too. And at one point, she shared a story with me, which I'm now gonna share with you, which I think highlights why this is still a problem, why DoorDash seriously needs to address it. Where she mentioned, like, because we talked about, you know, small orders. We both agreed that more and more were popping up. Now, she doesn't reject them the way I do um, because, you know, the three strike acceptance rating where, like, if you reject three orders, um, then they kick you off. I don't care. Well, actually, I don't think she does either. You know, if the orders are low enough and far enough three times in a row, she'll just stop working. That's the end of it. Um, and I kind of feel the same way. We both agreed that if the 6 to $10 order was, like, only within three miles total, eh, you can get it done fast enough. And I, that's still my advice. With small orders, if it says, oh, it's going to be two or three miles, just do it. It's, it's not hard. But we admit it's a problem, like we know it's a problem, and she shared a story where one time she accepted one of those orders, got there, and I don't know what restaurant it was, and I don't know if it's even relevant, but I think it was just some, they, he just wants some french fries, and the guy was like, you know, though this is like the third time we had to make that, for those french fries, because people, DoorDash did not show up, and she's like, oh, I was like, yeah, so those fries have been there for 35 minutes, we are not remaking it. And she said, well, okay, and she just took it, got to the um, the person's house, and said, hey, look, I'm sorry, you know, and she told them the story, which, you know, we're technically not supposed to do. We're not supposed to tell them that, you know, other drivers were not accepting their order, and that's why we're late, but she did. And she told him that he might have to nuke those fries because they're cold now and they're gross. Which, of course, this is obviously the exact opposite of what you want when you order from DoorDash. And, you know, she said, you know, I'm never going to do that again. I'm, I probably got one star. And, and you know, I, I don't blame her. That is not a good situation for the Dasher to be in. And because DoorDash still does not have separate ratings for the restaurant, which or a or the food, however you want to word it, and the driver because they don't have two separate ratings for those. You know, if they don't like the food, we're the ones who get penalized for it. Like, I mean, I'm at a four point fifty five, which is not bad, but it should be better because I'm fast. I am fast, and I don't speed. I don't have any speeding tickets or anything, but I am efficient at what I do. So most of the time, people are not happy. I'm assuming they're not happy with the food. That's actually a topic for another day. So let's get back to the main topic. And so that was not a good situation to be in. And then this morning I saw this comment, which um, you don't have to read the whole thing if you don't want to, but it essentially says, you know, he said, uh, Mark, yeah, Mark, I think his name, said, well, here's the thing. You really should not be rejecting small orders because if you reject small orders, then the restaurant wastes their food or gets cold or the next driver gets penalized for it. And, and you know what? Okay. I, um, here, I, I think we need to get back on topic on why we need the minimum order. This is why small orders are not a good idea because drivers don't want to take them. They don't make money. Restaurants are hesitant to make them because they know it's going to take a long time to get picked up. As a result of this, most of the time the food is 
cold or it takes a long time to get there or both and that customer is not happy and here's the, thing, the suggestion that the driver should just suck it up so that DoorDash can save face is offensive it's offensive and by the way I don't blame the person who posted this comment unless he works for DoorDash um, which um, for the record if he does trust me people at DoorDash they know me they know how to get in contact with me <laughs> You can talk to me personally if you want, but I am, but I am telling DoorDash is for their own good, for your own good, for the survival of your company. You need, 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 need to put an end to this. You need to put a 15 or $20, preferably $20 minimum purchase before delivering food, because when you do not do that, drivers do not pick it up. And you know what? They shouldn't. They absolutely shouldn't. You say, oh, it's good customer service to do this? Well, yes, but here's the thing. We are not employees. We are independent contractors. We will pick up the orders that make us money. And we will not make money on those orders. I mean, if you look at my video on um, how not to use DoorDash, which I'll, I'll share a link to at the end of the video, you know, the... We will not pick up those orders, and we shouldn't be expected to. And nobody wins in that case. Nobody. And because here's the thing. If the customer either never gets that food or they get cold food, they never use DoorDash again. It is not worth it. And the drivers or the dashers should not have to subsidize making money just to make DoorDash look good. Trust me, we've got options. I personally like DoorDash more than the other food places. I really do. I especially like you a lot more than Postmates, I can tell you that. But I will not su I will not give up making money for a small order that I know will A, not make me any money in the first place, and B, if I accept it, there is a chance that order has been rejected by driver after driver for the last hour. This is not a good system. It needs to stop. Now... I mean, you could make it so that, hey, if an order gets rejected, like, by five drivers within the first five minutes, then you just tell them, hey, we can't do it. You don't place the order. That's one way to do it, I guess. But here's the thing. If you make a $20 minimum order, people wouldn't really be rejecting it much in the first place. They just won't. And that... And that needs to happen. And I know you say, well, but if we do that, then Postmates will. Here's the thing. Drivers on Postmates, for the most part, are not picking these orders up either. They're going to have to deal with that themselves as well. Food delivery cannot afford less than $20 orders on any platform. Any platform. This is going to have to come to an end. Because there's a few things that could kill delivery gig economy services and not having a minimum order requirement is one of them because it makes drivers unhappy it makes customers unhappy and when both of them are unhappy it makes the company unhappy but the company seems unwilling to do anything about it because from their perspective we're not maintaining the cars we're not hiring anyone so we do not see any upfront cost from a 99 cent order to a hundred dollar order it's the same every time at least in terms of the delivery fee i know that and with some of these restaurants the restaurants pay like a 15 percent um commission to doordash and postmates and caviar in exchange for the food being delivered but here's the thing you have to look practically you have to ask yourself this if we were operating like a business where we hire these people would we waste our resources on a 99 cent burrito or 70 cent burrito from supermax like you can see in the video and i'm going to post the end and if the answer is no how can you expect us to do that just a thought so anyway uh whew, i i rant on that one a little bit longer than i thought i was going to uh so what do you guys think what do you do when you have an order that's less than $10 or $15? Do you accept it? Do you not accept it? I'd like to know, and hey, you know what I'd also like to know? I'd like to know if you accepting these small orders 
have resulted in lower grades or lower star ratings? Or have you actually made a lot of money doing it? Because I don't hear that very often. So if you can actually tell me how you did that, I'd be pretty impressed. But comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.